I'm Danny Burble. In this video, I'm going to basically take a quick walk through my weekly journal and how you would use it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The concept is to set goals, to go after those goals, to improve as you go, and to take the time to savor. So I'm just going to walk you through the journal real quick. Um, high level, I'm not going to stop on any pages, I'm just going to run through. So the booklet is three pages folded in half and it's basically one week's worth of, of journal. The first page captures all your goals. There's a blank page inside which I was using at one point but I have started to leave blank on purpose because it's great to have just a place to take random notes during the week. From there each page is going to be a day and there's things to do in the morning and things to do in the, af in the evening and the idea there is you don't really have to do them in the morning or the evening it's just get your day ready and think about your day and wrap it up so and there's basically just going to be seven of these pages so you have a whole week and the last page is uh, a weekly recap so after the week is over you've got a few things you can do where you look back and and say okay well what worked what didn't work and you basically evaluate your week and see sorry identify how you can do things better the very last page is for time blocking so basically when when do I plan on getting things done so now I'll take a little more time on each page the first page is for capturing your goals at the top I've just got a little something for capturing what week of the year it is what week of the month it is and then the dates from Saturday to Sunday because the seven days that this journal is going to represent so all of these are going to be my goals. They're all going to run off of this statement. What do I need to accomplish and savor to guarantee my time feels like a win? So for each one of these we're going to be asking that question. The journals split into two sides from time to time. On this side we have what am I going to achieve? On this side we have what am I going to savor? I found that this is really important. I found high achievers spend all their time over here and never set any goals on this side. Whereas people who tend to already enjoy life, they're all over here, but they're not setting any achievement goals, so things are not kind of being handled and they're falling behind on stuff. What I needed was a balance. I needed to focus on what do I need to achieve to make sure things got done and I'm moving forward, but I also found that I needed to focus on what do I need to savor? So I remember to stop and smell the roses. Basically what you would do is you would start at the top in either column and you'd say this year and write in the year this year I will achieve these three things and that's basically by the end of the year. A deadline is very important with any kind of goals. If you don't set a deadline it probably won't get done anytime soon. So it's better to have a deadline because it will kind of push you over the uh, finish line. Again, we're going to ask this question. What do I need to accomplish to guarantee this year feels like a win? And you write them in. One, two, three. Do it again. What do I need to savor to guarantee my time feels like a win? And then write them in. Just as some examples, um, this could be something like learn a new skill or get certified in something. This could be buy a house, this could be buy a car, this could be build a car. There's, there's a million things this could be, but it's literally something that you can see finishing. This is all about finishing. It's not about starting and never finishing. On the saver side, the kinds of things you're looking for here are, are much bigger. Um, for example, one could be be in my child's life as he makes his way through the third grade. How about that for a yearly goal on I Will Saver? How about I Will Saver uh, the first year of college? Or I Will Saver the third year of college? How about I Will Saver living in a roommate situation while I get my stuff together so that I can buy a house? I Will Saver my vacation. Uh, I Will Saver all the things I need to do to prepare for my vacation or to make my vacation possible. Uh, I will savor my time with my wife. 
I will savor the time that I have alone. Like there's, there's just a million ways you can add for either side. So once you've got your yearly things that you want to achieve and savor, break them into months. And again, use this phrase, what do I need to accomplish to guarantee my time feels like a win? This month, what do I need to accomplish to guarantee my time feels like a win? And you write those three things in. These could be things that just need to get done this month, but most likely they will involve breaking down some of this goal. It's the same on this side. If you wanted to make sure that you savored your child's third grade year, perhaps this month involves making sure they make it to every soccer game on time and then being there to savor the whole game and being there with your, your child to savor the after the game excitement or, or to help them kind of get through what it's like to not always win. So yearly, break it into this month and then break this month into this week. Same thing. What do I need to accomplish and savor to guarantee my time feels like a win? The first time you do it, this is going to be kind of like a big, uh, a big area to think about. Breaking it into a month is not as big and then breaking it into a week is, is not big at all. When you do your, your second journal, you're pretty much going to print out something that looks just like this, put it, put it on one side, on the other side you'll have the one that you already finished, and you'll just copy over the year, probably the month, and then come up with what needs to be done with week two of that month. And then you'll just keep doing that. You'll just copy over most of your goals, and then at some point you'll end up with a new month, and then you'll find yourself copying over the top, figuring out what you want to do for a new month, and starting with the first week. So that's basically the goal, the goal setting portion of this journal. After you finish the front cover, go straight to the back cover. So this is literally just a little bit of a, a guidelines for how you're going to plan your week. I purposely put it on the back cover so that you could literally do this. I'll put it down a little lower. Here we go. So the idea here is real simple. Uh, you've got all of your goals on one side and you've got a very loose time blocking schedule on the other side. All you're going to be doing is filling out the plan. And this is literally, it's just for you. It, whatever, whatever works best for you here. Say for example, this week you had three major items. You could just put like, I plan on starting item one, I plan on finishing item one. Uh, pick up the kids. Like, you could just throw in whatever you want here that's going to achieve what you're after down here. That way things get done. Uh, I find that without a little bit of a plan, and it, again, I'm, I'm not looking for a huge detailed plan here. It's just very high level. Um, on this day, I'm going to set aside time for this. On that day, I'm going to set a time, aside time for that. And then if it works for you, at any time, you can review this page, see what you were planning on doing this week, and as you go, you could just kind of fill in, oh, okay, this is what actually happened. So the plan was these three bullet points. What actually happened was three different bullet points because life got in the way. And then you look at your Monday's plan and you realize you've where you are. And then so what you'll find is if, if you have a plan and an actual kind of written down, at the end, at the end of your week, when you're filling this out for your weekly recap, you can also kind of look back at your actuals and it will kind of remind you a little bit of how the week played out and then how you can take control of it next week. I'm going to take the cover off real quick to show you the, the daily pages. So every page looks like this. At the top you have a spot to put the date. The top half is going to be basically preparing your day and the bottom half is going to be reviewing your day and planning to do it better. So in the top half, we have three victories. The reason why we have three victories is because recapping three victories, no matter how big or small, feels good. It lets you feel your accomplishment and your progress. These three victories, they appease this side, the achievement side. This reminds the achiever you are, you are doing something. You are making progress. Don't feel bad just because you have 
these big goals, you're getting there. You're taking steps forward. Three victories. After that, we have three grateful things. Three grateful things, um, actually it's literally worded, I am grateful for, and there's three things here. Again, these can be big or small. The idea here is try to pick new things. Try to pick big things. Try to pick small things. Try to pick things that did happen in the last 24 hours. And this side is appeasing the saver side of, your, of all your goals. What I've noticed is when I'm kind of in an achievement kind of mode, I'm all about this column. And I'm all about victories and winning. But I forget to stop and savor. I forget to, to recap what I'm grateful for. And again, the opposite. When I'm so busy enjoying life, I'm letting things slide. I'm so busy over here enjoying everything, I'm forgetting to count my victories. So this journal is all about the balance between both. It's not about achieving, achieving, achieving. It's not about savor, savor, savor. It's about both. Underneath that, I have a checkbox here that says, declare and commit fully to my goals this year, month, and week. So every day, I start by recapping three victories, three things I'm grateful for, and then I flip to the cover, and I read out loud all of my goals. And I don't just read them, I read them like I mean them. That's why this sentence says, declare and commit fully. I read these things because I'm going to do them, because I'm going to finish everything that I've written here. It's not just a list. It's a declaration. After I've declared and committed fully to my goals for this year, month, and week, I check the box, and I move on. The next thing says, the best future me, with a question mark, I am blank. I want you to describe your best future self. This could be the best future me, I am unstoppable. The best future me, I am an amazing husband. The best future me, I am a hero for my kids. The best future me, I am a hero in the workplace. You see where I'm going with this. You need to find the words that work for you. Identify what your best self is, who they are, what, what feeds them, and put it right there. And remember that you are that person. Again, we've got two columns here, one for achieve, one for savor. The same way the front page goes this year, this month, this week, right here we have today. What do I need to accomplish and savor to guarantee my day feels like a win? One, two, three. And these are things we are going to finish not things we're going to half start. Same thing with savor. What do I need to savor to guarantee my day feels like a win? And these will be much smaller things. This literally could be go to work, don't freak out during a specific meeting, and then go to my kid's soccer game. And this could be I will savor the commute to work. Try that. Just try it. It's unbelievable. You'll find yourself not caught up in the traffic and looking around and realizing, wow, I pass these things every day and I didn't even notice. Wow, the sun is rising. It's gorgeous out there today. I will savor my drive to work. Try it. The last thing you'll do in the morning would be today's mantra is, and then whatever you need to write to get your head right. For me, this is often a quote. This will often be song lyrics. Or it might literally just be a phrase like, I am unstoppable, or I've got this, or just finish, or don't let anyone steal my focus, or today's mantra is, get it done, ship it. So again, whatever works for you, not what works for me, what works for you. At the end of the day, or perhaps the next day, You'd come through and you'd kind of review your day. Start with a line here that says, today was blank. And you can put whatever you want there. I find that I often put things like uh, how it felt. Like today was awesome. Today was rough. Today was emotionally challenging. Today was physically challenging. 
In a couple words, how would you kind of wrap up the mood of the day? Underneath that, there's a checkbox that says, check off successful, quote, I will items above. It's referring to this section. So take a moment, look back, and check off. See what actually got done. This is the accountability step right here. This is where you say, did I finish what I set out to finish? Did I stop and smell the roses the way I said I was going to? Did I plan the time to relax? After that, check the box. And I've got a little area here to recap the events of the day. You don't have to write a novel here. Uh, most of the time, I really just make a few bullet points. A few bullet points in the morning, a few bullet points in the afternoon, a couple in the evening, whatever works. Uh, just hit the highlights here. Whatever, you, whatever works for you, basically. Under that, I have, I will always remember today as the day, dot, dot, dot. And you can write whatever you want in this box. This one line right here, if it's done correctly, I can flip through any journal, read this one line, and know what the whole page is going to look like. And that's useful for when I'm trying to find things. When I'm trying to find, hey, I thought I, I, thought I already had this struggle, and I thought I left myself an idea. Let me go find it. I will just flip through reading this one line. And when I find it, I'll have all the information I'm looking for. After that, this right here, these two boxes, this is our, this is how we get better. Every day you stop and say, you ask yourself, what worked? This could be anything. You will know just by asking yourself this question and thinking about your day, what worked? Straight across here, it says, how can I make this more effortless? And there's a checkbox. This is a to-do item. Don't let it be gigantic. Let it be a couple of minutes. So if what worked today was, uh, for example, for me, what worked? Well, I set up my camera and my desk to shoot videos. And I set it up for actually shooting videos for something else. So what worked was, my camera was already set up, so I decided to film more videos. How can I make this more effortless? S create a space for the camera to always be set up. That would be a great example. Underneath that, we have what didn't work. And again, over here it says, well, this time it changes slightly. How can I set myself up for success? This, this is the key to my success with dieting, right here. These questions right here are how I lost 40 pounds in four months. Every day I'd say, what worked? How can I make it more effortless? And then I would say, what didn't work? How can I set myself up for success? Set up for success. That is the key words there. For example, what didn't work? Let's say, uh, oh, my batteries kept dying while shooting videos. So set up for success. Go buy two more batteries. So this is the spot where I recap how the day went. And this is the spot where I commit to myself and identify ways to do it better. Doing this every day will improve your life a little bit every day. So at the bottom here, I have something that says, did I honor myself today? And I believe that this will be different for different people. For me, I'm a bit of an introvert. So when I ask myself this question, I often find my answers involve that. Basically, did I speak up for myself? Did I uh, talk to somebody about something before it became an unbearable giant problem? Um, I'm sure for an extrovert, it would be the opposite. It might be, um, did I steamroll somebody today? Uh, and how can I not do that? Because I keep, I keep w walking all over the people or pushing people around and not even realizing it. Um, did, I, did I stop and consider somebody else's point of view today? So, did I honor myself today? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very personal. So, whatever works for you there. And then over here, again, it says, how can I do this better? And here's a checkbox. So, come up with one to-do item. Again, all these two to-do items should be like 30 seconds, a minute, nothing complicated. So, you actually get them done. So, did I honor myself today? How can I do this better? These are going to change your life. 
So I'm gonna put the cover back on real quick. I showed you the front page where we set our goals. I showed you one, one page, which is a daily page. And there's just gonna be seven of these in a row. On the last page, so this is gonna be your weekly recap. This page, if you think about it, it, it literally is just gonna be like the bottom section of a day, only it's gonna be referring to your whole week. I will always remember this past week as the week and then write whatever you want. This could be the week I bought a house, as the week uh, my car broke down, but I ended up hanging out and petting a cat. Uh, the week I signed up for a class. The week that I finished the first class. The week that I finished the class. There, there's just a million things could be here. It could be the week I uh, reconnected with my best friend. The week that I beat my best friend in basketball. There's a million things that go here. Uh, whatever works for you. This is your life. We have three big victories and this is exactly like like the previous pages where I'm asking you three victories every day except now you're considering the entire week I'm extra grateful for and then three things that you're grateful for but consider the whole week what you'll find is on a daily page your victories and your I am grateful for are gonna be uh, kind of like in the trenches, moment by moment kind of things. When you stop and look back at your week, these are going to be a higher level and you're going to make much bigger discoveries about yourself and about your life. After that, we have what worked and what didn't work. Again, it's just like the daily pages, except now there are three items for each and you're going to consider your week, you're not going to consider your day. So again, what's gonna happen is, on your, on your day to day, you're gonna be discovering little things, like I said with this camera and the batteries. With a weekly thing, you're gonna discover bigger stuff, like uh, what worked? I shot a lot of videos. How can I make this more effortless? I have more scripts prepared. What didn't work? I shot a lot of videos and I didn't have the time to actually edit them and then I can figure out something to make editing easier. At the bottom, there's a checkbox that says, check this week's intentions versus result. That means you're gonna flip back to the cover and you're gonna look in this section right here and you're gonna check off the items that got done. Again, this is an accountability step. This says, did I achieve, did I finish the things that I set out to finish? This should wake you up. If you come back here and you check off one item out of three, that should tell you something about yourself. It should tell you maybe your goals are too big or maybe your goals aren't specific enough or maybe you're not really thinking about crossing the finish line when you set your goals or maybe you need to plan time for other things to get in the way. Maybe you're planning too many goals. Maybe you need to break them into smaller pieces. There's many things that, could, that it could be but to stop and look back and say, huh, I thought I could do these three things, but I only did one. And I thought I could do these three things, but I didn't do any of them. That will give you a chance to look at yourself and plan a better week next week. Once you're done with that, check the box. The last thing here says, print out another weekly's journal. And then there's the back cover again, which we've already talked about. So that is the weekly journal, um, which is based on achieve and savor and basically balance combined with all of the getting better every day. So I hope you enjoy it. My name is Danny Burble. You can find this on dannyburble.com and please share. Thanks.